We're going to continue with examination of the mouth. Uh, Mr. Johnson, can you open your mouth for me? And say, ah. Uh, uh. We're now inspecting the oral pharynx. Stick out your tongue, please. We're looking at the position of the tongue to see if the tongue is in the center as it is stuck out and tongue back. And now we're looking at the, the teeth, the dental hygiene. We're looking at the buccal mucosa. We're looking at Stenson's duct. And again, say, ah. Uh, and we're noticing the uvula and soft palate as it elevates. One can also do this procedure with a tongue depressor. And the way in which one does this is open your mouth, keep your tongue back in your mouth, and we are now pressing the tongue depressor on the anterior third or half of the tongue and scooping the tongue forward behind the front teeth. And now again say, ah, uh, for visualization of the posterior pharynx. We can use the tongue depressor to move the buccal mucosa away from the gingiva to examine the gingiva as I'm demonstrating now. The next part of the examination, examination of the tongue. And for this examination, one would now put on gloves since this is an internal examination. We're now going to examine the tongue and the floor of the mouth for which you should put on gloves. To examine the tongue, take a gauze pad and have the patient stick out his or her tongue. Hold the tongue gently and start at the back of the tongue and palpate along the lateral borders. Remember that most lingual carcinomas are on the lateral border of the tongue. Go all the way down to the tip of the tongue to evaluate if any masses are present. The examination of the floor of the mouth is done as follows. It is actually a bimanual palpation in which one finger is placed under the jaw and the other under the tongue, and you palpate for structures between the two fingers. But in order to do that, you want to make sure that you protect yourself from the person biting your finger. So that's done in the following manner. The examination finger palpating the bottom of the floor of the mouth, the second finger is placed under the jaw, and Mr. Johnson, open your mouth for me. The cheeks are pushed in to prevent him from biting down. And the second finger of the other hand is placed under the tongue. And you palpate, in this manner, the floor of the mouth. Examination of the floor of the mouth is an extremely important part of the physical examination, since oral cancers are very common. Those individuals who are predisposed to oral cancers are those smokers, tobacco users, and also patients who drink alcohol. And this concludes the examination of the head. We're going to continue now with examination of the neck.